This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. And I got some more stuff to bring to your attention. It's a crazy world we're living in. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, my wife's watching, uh, she watches like court cases and stuff and trials and because of this coronavirus, <laughs> they got no shit. They have somebody on the stand and they have a big plastic shield in front of them. Now they're up by the judge and you got the, the jury out in the back. But this woman is sitting behind glass or plastic and she's got a plastic shield on. She's like 15, 20 feet away from everybody else, but she's behind plastic. You can't hear a word anybody's saying. It, it's just, uh, there's so much shit going on right now. I, I mean, the whole Black Lives Matter and the, the virus and masks and all that, and, and I'm not this is not about the coronavirus. This isn't about masks. This isn't about any of that. There's so much going on in the background while this is going on. And, and you know, every time you think you know what, what's going on, there's more shit going on. I, I mean, the whole 5G is going on whether we wanted it or not. They didn't need this pandemic to roll out the 5G. And what that's going to have to do with the vaccines and stuff, I don't know. But in one of my other videos I did with the, the 5G and stuff, somebody commented that, uh, you know, they, they work on towers, they install the 5G, and I'm an idiot, I'm a moron, I don't know what I'm talking about. And 5G is just the fifth generation, and I need to, you know, get my facts straight. And, you know, prove, like, where's the proof of all this stuff? Well... Where's the proof that you're talking about, okay? How do I prove that I know what I'm talking about? First of all, I put the links in the description below. I do my own research. I don't go to Snopes and stuff like that. And I used to climb towers. I used to install antenna systems. I used to install microwave stuff on military bases, on military radar towers and stuff. Do I have any proof of that? No, I couldn't find anything, and it's, it happened like 28, 30 years ago when I did all this stuff. But I came across some videotape of me on these towers. I was on, in Philadelphia, I was on the PSFS building. I was on the tower. I was right across from William, William Penn statue. I was on, I think they call it Radio Tower Hill out in Pennsylvania. It's like a 450-foot tower on top of a mountain. I found footage of me on there. I don't have any paperwork, but I had video footage showing that I was on the tower. That's what I used to do for a living. Did I install 5G? No. I installed millimeter or uh, the microwave dishes for military. I installed TV antennas, radio antennas. I did all that stuff on and off for a couple of years for, for a company. Uh, I have some health issues I think had to do with some of that. Uh, five of the guys that were on the crew that I worked with, two of them have cancer, and one of them has the same exact degenerative bone condition that I have, which is the worst that the doctors have ever seen. Sometimes I can walk, sometimes I can't. That's why I'm always pretty much sitting down in my videos. Um, there's just so much stuff going on. You know, yes, the 5G is fifth generation for the cell phones, but it's not just a fifth generation. The 5G uses a completely different technology than our cell phones are using now. So for somebody to say they know what they're talking about, they install towers and 5G is, is not millimeter waves, well, I think you're full of shit, okay? I know people that are still working on these towers. They're still working for the company and it is a different technology. So. I did my research, I've talked to people, and I've done this stuff myself, so I know what I'm talking about as far as the towers. So yeah, if you look at these, so yeah, I found some footage of me on these towers. It is me, uh, it's like 25, 28 years ago, 
maybe 30 years ago. It was like 91, 92, 93. So, yeah. Uh, I had hair. I was losing my hair, but I had hair then. And I was probably 100 pounds lighter. So, this is me on the towers. Why would you fall? You're not going to get hurt. You're only about 1,500 foot above sea level. Billy, got tired. Sorry. Billy, you still trying to light a cigarette? Okay, so now that that is out of the way, we know we have uh, the fluoride in our water. And fluoride is bad for you. I don't care what anybody says. Fluoride is bad. They've been putting it in the water for years. It 
it's so harmful. It, it's in everything we drink. Bottled water is bad for you. So, I mean, I've known some of this, and some people think I'm crazy, but here's a video on the fluoride. Water, or H2O, is essential for human existence. And it ought to go without saying that without clean, unpolluted water, humanity is imperiled. Yet, from the 1930s, a cabal of elites, including titans from the aluminium industry and nascent nuclear industry, decided to rid themselves of the problem of disposing with the toxic substance of fluoride by lobbying for its addition to civilian drinking water. Edward Bernays, the founding father of modern propaganda, was hired to sell water fluoridation to the American people, as was Dr. Harold Hodge, who was the chief toxicologist for the Manhattan Project. Well, to put it very simply, fluoride <coughs> is safe. Well, there's been lots of studies, hundreds of studies, uh, in the last 20 years, 30 years, that have shown that, well, actually, it's not safe. Last year, Calgary City Council, after coming under pressure from citizen anti-fluoride activists, voted to stop imposing the potentially harmful substance on the people of Calgary. Yet citizens in many cities throughout North America are still being forcefully medicated by unethical politicians who appear to be more influenced by vested interests than by common sense. Cities like here, Lethbridge, Alberta, where water is still fluoridated, much to the displeasure of many of its residents. You go to the coffee shop downtown, there's going to be fluoride in your water. You buy soup from a restaurant in town that they use tap water to make, there's going to be fluoride in your soup. You buy anything, it's going to have fluoride in it if the town's water supply is fluorinated. It's a forced medication. You, you, you would have thought that we learned something from what happened in, uh, as a result of the Nuremberg trials. I mean, I think the Nuremberg Code basically says you can't, you, you can't force people to take a medication. I don't really have a say in water fluoridation and my water is fluorinated. And it's, it's hard to believe that I am being medicated and I would prefer not to be. It's a, I think it's a human right to be able to decide what goes in our bodies, what we, what we eat, what we drink. With at least 18 peer-reviewed studies demonstrating that elevated levels of fluoride exposure leads to IQ deficits in children, along with many other potential afflictions, one cannot help wondering whether those in power know that they benefit from having a dumbed-down citizenry and thus continue to pump fluoride into the public's water to foster acquiescence to their hegemony. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Okay, so now you saw a little thing on the fluoride in the water. With all this stuff going on and people dying and now they want to put, I mean the suicide rate is high and everything because everybody's out of work and the suicide rate's high because of this pandemic. So what do they want to do? They want to put lithium in our water. Now lithium, they already did testing that we didn't know about. Lithium has been put in different states, different cities. Let me read some of the stuff to you, first of all. Experts push for lithium to be added to our drinking water. Apparently, there's not enough chemicals already added to our drinking water, as there is now a call by experts to further poison our water supplies by adding lithium. Their main reason is to decrease suicide and violent crime rates. Did you hear that? Violent crime rates. What's going on right now? The Black Lives Matter, uh, take down the statues, uh, anti-vax people, the anti-mask wearing people, people going into stores starting shit without a mask. They're doing this on purpose. They want to put lithium in our water. You're going to walk around like a, a drooling zombie. Do you know the side effects to lithium? So. You have suicidal issues, instead of fixing the problem, we're just going to add stuff to the water to make people compliant and not aggressive and not riot, and do what you're told. Okay, now here he's, this person says, Next steps might include testing this hypothesis by randomized community trials of lithium supplementation of the water supply, particularly in communities or settings 
with demonstrated high prevalence of mental health conditions, violent criminal behavior, chronic substance abuse, and risk of suicide. This may provide further evidence to support the hypothesis that lithium could be used at the community level to reduce or combat the risk of these conditions. Lithium, sometimes referred to as a magic ion, is widely effectively used as a medication for the treatment and prevention of manic and depressive episodes, establish, establishing mood and reducing the risk of suicide in people with mood disorders. Its anti-aggressive properties can help reduce impulsivity, aggression, violent criminal behavior, and chronic substance abuse. Now, did we vote for this? Is this what we want? Uh, just because some of the population, like now, like 1% of the population is dying from a mysterious disease, we all have to suffer and not go to work and wear a mask when it's all bullshit. Now we got to drink the water. They're, they're, they're doing all this stuff to us. Adverse side effects of lithium. Side effects of lithium include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, muscle weakness, thirst, polyuria, I don't know what that is, tremor, weight gain, signs of toxicity include ataxia, don't know what that is, muscle twitching, coarse tremor and muscle weakness. This may progress to drowsiness, disorientation, hypertonicity, hyperflexia, don't know what any of that is, uh, convulsions and coma, dementia, focal neurological deficits or death may ensure or ensue. This is what they want to put in our water, folks. Uh, we need to wake up about this stuff. We need to look up. We need to see what they're doing to the skies. And if you, if you think it's crap, I mean, all the patents are out there. I'm not going to go into the chemtrails again. Go on YouTube, look up Franken Skies. They're poisoning our water. They're trying to dumb us down. They're not here to help you with these vaccines. If they wanted to help us, they would take fast food off the market. They'd take alcohol off the market. They'd get rid of cigarettes. They'd ban cigarettes and tobacco altogether. Uh, there's just no common sense to any of this. Our water, our regular drinking water, is contaminated, not just the fluoride, but you know how many chemicals are in all these different states? Like 48, 43 or 48 of our states have contaminated drinking water. And they don't tell us. Here's, here's the video. A new study reveals a chemical that can be harmful to your health is found in water in 43 states. The Environmental Working Group says PFAs, which are chemicals used in consumer products like firefighting foam and non-stick cookware, can be found in 610 locations across the country, and that includes drinking water for about 19 million people. For more on this now, we're joined rather by David Andrews, a senior scientist for the Environmental Working Group. So I read sort of the article on this report and it is scary because we're talking about a problem basically across the country. David, how significant are the results of this study? Well, this is this is this should be frightening to all Americans in many ways um, because these chemicals, these are the Teflon or Scotch gutter chemicals, as you mentioned, they're common in firefighting foam. They're they're stain repellent, but they don't break down in the body and they don't break down in the environment and they actually stick to our blood. So levels tend to increase over time. So then are we seeing levels within our bodies? Are we finding children with this stuff in them? And how could it potentially affect our health? How is it affecting our health? Right. Th these chemicals are actually found in everyone in, this, in, in the United States, just about everyone in the entire world. And, and exposure to these chemicals really can, can impact a lot of different health systems, cause numerous health harms, everything from testicular to kidney cancer, harm to the liver, harm to the thyroid. Uh, it, it actually impacts childhood development, low birth weight, um, and it actually can impact the immune system and, and reduce the effectiveness of vaccines. So, so it's really actually frightening how many different um, health systems, um, different organs these chemicals can, can cause harm to. 
Is this the sort of thing that can be filtered out with a, a Brita filter? I know my refrigerator, sort of the water part of it, comes with a filter. Does that do these filters make any sort of difference? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And actually, a Brita type filter will help a little bit. Um, so, so, so there is some hope there. If there is known contamination where you are, um, you may want to look into a more comprehensive filter, a reverse osmosis filter. But a carbon filter, a Brita filter, that, that will actually help and, and will reduce the levels um, typically. So then, according to your report, Michigan has the most locations. And you, you guys have this great sort of interactive map where you can check out your own state and see the locations of concern and whether we're talking about a military base or drinking water. But Michigan has 192 locations in just that one state. Is this because uh, they have more efforts to test? Is it that they're testing these PFAs more there and so they're identifying the problem? Or is it that they really do have more of a problem than anywhere else? So in large part, it's because they're identifying the problem. Mm. They're, they, they're really getting out ahead of other states and trying to understand the scope and the magnitude of this contamination. And, and what they found is that it's much bigger than they even expected. And, and I think that's a result we're going to see across the country as more states do additional testing. And, and so we're actually supporting a lot of legislation at the state and federal level to really um, understand the scope of this problem and set legal limits in drinking water. We think everyone has a right to safe and clean drinking water. That's what I want to ask you about. I, I, like, I'm sure there's no like minimum level of like a safe number of PFAs in your drinking water. But what's the FDA doing? I mean, are they keeping track of this stuff? Do they have a level that they've said is acceptable versus unacceptable? Right. So, so, and actually, it's the Environmental Protection Agency has set a health advisory value, but it's not a legally binding limit. And so, it, and part of the problem is they actually have not set a legal or a new legal drinking water limit for any contaminant in over two decades. So the whole system of regulating drink chemicals that may end up in our water and setting limits is broken. And, and the agency is really falling behind the science here in, in terms of... So, no, go ahead. In terms of... In, in terms of just how, how different contaminants, including these PFAs or PFAS, as well as other emerging contaminants and how they're impacting our health. Yeah, you know, it just there's some things that are sort of synonymous with purity, right? Water, like you tell your children to drink more water and put the soda down. This is a, a sign of being healthier. And then to hear you talk about just how dangerous our water could be is heartbreaking. And I can't believe we're not doing more about it, but you're raising the alarm and that's really important. David, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. Now, am I full of shit? I mean, the, new, the news is out there, the truth is out there, but with all this stuff going on and panicking and nobody's working and suicide, oh, let's, let's put stuff in the water to shut people up and make people so they don't commit suicide. People, we need to, we need to wake up, we need to be aware, turn the TV off, get rid of cable, you're not going to learn shit on regular TV, CNN, Fox, ABC, The View. Uh, Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, whatever the hell his name is, they're all shills, they're all planted to throw us off. It's, I get pissed off thinking about it. Every time more shit pops up and like, oh, you're crazy. Oh, you crazy. I'm going to, the next video, I'm going to put a tinfoil hat on. I'm going to take my army hat, hat and maybe I'll take my army ambulance and cover it in tinfoil. I and I'm the crazy one. Oh, you're crazy, belly and not the government wouldn't do that. Man, I gotta slap you upside the head. It's coming and people are just not paying attention. Go look it. The truth is out there. We gotta I mean the the end is it's like the end of days. It's and things have been predictive programming on watching TV and another thing I don't know if it's my TV we know our phones listen to us but I didn't even know my phone was on I guess it doesn't matter but one of my favorite shows used to be Jericho and I was gonna I got in the mood to watch Jericho Jericho I got in the mood to watch Jericho the other day and I got my DVDs and stuff out and we got a free 30-day subscription to Netflix or something and Jericho was on there. So I'm like, oh, great, I'll watch Jericho. 
But if you haven't watched Jericho, if you don't know what it is, it's on Netflix right now. It's called Jericho. It uh, came out in 2006, I think. Got Skeet Ulrich in it, Gerald McRaney. It's, it's a good show, but there's so much truth and a lot to it that is... They had, after the nuclear bombs went off, I don't want to spoil it for you, but, you know, a couple nuclear bombs went off in the United States, and they said it was Russia, EMP went off, and nobody's got power, and then the government, the military comes to help, and then there's different military... And there's like different states, it's all, like the United States, it's the Allied States of America, it's split. There's different presidents or whatever. But they have a new flag. They have the flag and the stripes run a different direction. They go up and down, sit of sideways. And there's like a circle with the stars, it's a different map. Or it's, it's a different flag. And it's the Allied States of America. They changed their currency. Uh, you had to go in there with your money and they exchange it. Uh, Jennings and Rawl was a company that was working with the government. And if you had money from the United States, you had to convert it over like they're going to do now. If you have money, you got to turn in your cash. You're going to have to turn in for this cryptocurrency or a Bitcoin or whatever it is, or a chip. You're not going to be able to use the cash or the change. And why is there a short of change right now? Everybody's closed and there's a short of, of change. Uh, but anyway, the flag. They're flying a new flag of the Allied States of America. And I told my wife, I'm like, wow, I said, I'd like to get one of those flags. That'd be pretty cool. The next day, I guess I was watching that like 7 or 8, 9 o'clock at night. The next day, I checked my phone. I checked my email. So I get this email from Amazon and I click on it. It says, we thought you might like this. And it is... I'll see if I can put a picture of it in here. It is a Jericho flag, the Allied States of America flag from Jericho. So, did my phone hear my conversation? I, uh, so, yeah. The TV, the phone, all that shit is listening to everything we say. So, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This whole world has gone upside down in the last couple months. Everything is flip-flopped backwards. Nothing is as it seems. Our history is full of shit. Look up, people. Look around. Be aware of your surroundings. Stay away from crowds if you can. Stay away from the stores. Shit's going to get bad real quick and real soon. I don't know when. I just, I just got a bad feeling shit's going to go bad real quick. So... Uh, hopefully I'll come out with a prepping video of something a little bit more upbeat in the next day or two. If I can think of something without getting distracted with this stuff. So it's Pony Prepper Bill. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.